Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. In today's video, we're going to be doing a deck mat install on my PA14360, so stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be doing a deck mat install on my PA14360. We ordered this deck mat from Dugout Bait and Tackle. They were super easy to work with. Uh, we spoke with Josh a little. He does a lot of their, I guess their ordering for their deck mat uh, and, and Jamie and all of them. So we ended up going with them. This is who we bought the boat from as well. So we went with them to get the deck mat kit also. Um, so anyways, I, I know a lot of you guys probably already know how to do this. It's actually a super simple process. It's not rocket science by no means. Um, just as long as you do everything correctly now, some of the stuff that we're going to be doing to install this might not be something they require. It's just something that we like to do. Just kind of makes us feel a little bit better when we install it. Make sure it lasts a lot longer and stays stuck really well. So, anyways, I'm going to kind of dig into this thing and let you guys see how I do it. All right, first off, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the boat out. Um, go, I'm going to go over everything, get everything, like say, vacuum completely out. James already got his in. Uh, we got his kayak in here, got it completely done. We were just finishing up mine. This is kind of the last part that we really need to get taken care of. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to vacuum this out. We're going to wipe it down really good. I'm going to use a little bit of acetone lightly, wiping it down um, and getting everything clean. Because like say, our deck mats are going to go over this box as well. It's going to go over uh, the back. One, you can see I got one just kind of laying there. Because what happens is, they send you on a couple pieces, a couple different ones, I guess for, you know, how they change things up for each year model. Um, so you got a couple different uh, choices um, that you can pick from that, that matches your hatch, shall we say, <laughs> on that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the vacuum cleaner. I'm going to vacuum this out and then I'm going to get a rag with some acetone and, uh, and start wiping it down and uh, all that. All right, got the kayak all vacuumed out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of acetone. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly put it on a rag. I'm not gonna soak this down or anything. You don't wanna do that because it's not good on the plastic if you get like a bunch of it. So I'm just gonna lightly wipe everything down and make sure all the surface is clean on everything. Um, but first what I'm gonna do is, before I even really get to that, is I wanna go ahead and lay out everything. That way, I know like what area surfaces I need to clean and all that. And plus it just kind of lets you know what all you got. Um, so, but like I say, I'm gonna lay everything out first and that way I kind of see where everything lays, how it lays. And then, uh, then that way I can go in and make sure I'm wiping everything down that needs to be wiped down properly. Okay, so I went ahead and laid out the deck mats. Now, we're not gonna use these ones because this deck mat kit actually works with this. So we're gonna keep the 360 ones in there and we can use these for a later time if we go to sell the boat and they look rough or whatever, we can replace them. Um, also, we're not gonna use the ones that are under our crate um, because, I mean, those are fine. You're not gonna see them. And basically, the ones you're putting in there look very similar to that. So, um, but got everything laid out. Um, as you can see here, got the one with the One Objective logo on the front. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use this one up front. I don't know if I want to put that one on there yet or not. I don't know. Also, um, like I say, I got the back ones. They, they send you a couple of these so for whichever one fits best, you know. Um, but also, a lot of the ones here in the back we're not going to use. For one, our mount covers up a lot of that area. Uh, and two, my only concern is on this one, is with the screws and the way the mat sits over it. I don't feel like it sits really tight, but I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I, you know, actually making it stick or whatever. So up in there, if I'm gonna put that one on. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go now and I'm just gonna clean everything up with a little bit of acetone. And then I got a, a primer that's a 3M primer that we're gonna put on um, and to, to help everything stick now like i said you i don't think you have to do this i just think for longevity it's going to be great because we plan on keeping these boats for a little while um 
so I just want to make sure it's gonna we just want to make sure it's gonna stick really well and we don't have no pill ups or nothing like that um, you know in the coming future also something I wanted to add to this that I didn't add at the very beginning when I was going through this is make sure that you got your boat in a nice warm area if you're doing this during the winter time like we're in Virginia right now the highs right now are like 35 40 degrees something like that we've had this boat sitting inside for the last several days just to make sure it's getting you know well we've been working on it too but making sure it's good and warm um, but like I say you just you just want to make sure you got a good warm plastic you don't you don't want to put this stuff on when it's super cold and then then you know and then having it let it sit inside and cure for a little while as well so if you can wait towards the summer to do it that's better but like I say once we put these on we're going to let it cure and then um, tomorrow night or either early Wednesday morning we're going to load these on a trailer when we head down to Texas so um, but I just want to add that in for you guys that are, are still watching also something I wanted to add too is uh, when you're cleaning this surface like say we're using acetone um, when you are cleaning the surface here make sure that you don't use alcohol I know there are several different kinds of alcohol that you can use and um, but you know it's great for when you're cleaning glass and, and all that to put stickers on but on plastic it actually leaves a um, like an oily residue so you don't you don't want to have use alcohol to do that acetone is a lot better as long as you just do it lightly and not go heavy with it all right now that I let the uh, acetone and all that kind of gas out I guess if everything's dried up and, and, and ready to go ahead and put this uh, adhesive promoter on here um, this is just going to help it stick help it you know stick a little bit better so we're just going to apply this on here and then we're going to stick the uh, first deck mat on and I like I say I'm being kind of light with this I'm not I'm not going crazy you want to make sure you don't get it on your existing deck mat if you don't want to take off the 360 part all right now that I basically have this all laid uh, cleaned up and it's you know I know where every piece is going how it's going to set I'll kind of just double check myself one more time and just kind of lay it out and see how how I want it to lay here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take the backing off and I'm going to go ahead and stick it on here. Now the, this stuff is very sticky so I mean it is it's a very good quality product here, you know. Just start from one end and Now on some of these you can actually take the paper and kind of peel it back and then ease it on and then start pulling the paper off as you're putting it on. But for this one here, for me anyways, this one's a little more difficult because you got a lot of loose little pieces here that are kind of a little bit everywhere. But I mean it's still simple, it's just trying to get everything to be just be even you know like you got your others like you got the other side there there we go I mean that's it's basically it you just want to make sure you got all your corners and make sure everything's good and stuck and that's it Looking, looking good here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up installing the rest of the deck mat kit here. Like I say, that's basically how, I mean, it's, it's simple to do. It really isn't much to it. Do you have to go into the full effect that we did with the self, uh, I mean, with the primer and, and all that stuff? No, you don't. Um, we just do it just for kind of an insurance policy. You know, is it gonna hurt if you don't? No, it's not, but like I say, we just want to make sure everything's good and stuck but definitely make sure you take the time and clean it really well because that's going to be the deciding factor on how well it sticks and how long it lasts so um, but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this and i'll show you guys what the outcome is all right guys well that's kind of the end of the install here i'm going to pan through here and just show you guys what it looks like with the finished product and also a few pieces that i didn't put on that i might put on later i don't know yet so uh, but let me go ahead let me go ahead and show you what i got 
All right, well, let me take it, move this piece out the way. Got the front piece on, got the, the hatch cover done. Looks pretty cool. I like I like how it kind of, it's like, I don't know, it's like ghost one objective there or something. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. But um, this is one piece here that I'm still up in the air if I want to put on there or not. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want that on there or not. Looks good. But not 100% sure if I want that. I'm um, going to think about that one for a little while. I'll put that in a pile. But got the rest of the mats on um i think a lot of people are going to be like well i don't see what the you know why I spend that extra money for matting um you know what's the advantage of it one it it deadens the sound in your boat okay if you drop a weight if you drop your catch board if you drop whatever Granted, it ain't gonna completely deaden the sound, but it's gonna help, and it's gonna be a lot better than it is dropping it on straight plastic. I mean, you can hear there. I mean, it just, it deadens the sound a little bit. You know, I mean, it's not, like I say, it's not gonna completely quiet and go stealth mode, but just deadens a little bit. So, uh, another thing is too, when it's super hot, if you wanna go barefooted or whatever, Yes, this black can get a little warm, but it's gonna be a lot better than, um, you know, the plastic that's gonna be right here. So it's gonna be a little bit cooler on your feet, a little bit more comfortable when you're standing up, and moving around in your kayak. And then also, it just looks cool. That's all I can say about that. But <laughs> um, one thing I do like too is where this mat goes back in here. When you put in your rod, your rod and reel here, uh, it just keeps your your rods on something soft. I mean, your reels on something soft instead of getting beat up on a plastic or. Um, you know scuffing the paint on it so much so um, but we didn't replace these these are the basically the same ones that are in the kit um, put this mat on I like this it's got our, our hook in here uh, for a hatch cover there got this one on here on the back and then also got um, all the back you know the tank well and area and all that in this one here as well we did not put these on yet not sure yet what I'm going to do the paddle will hit against it. I kind of like to have it here. Um, but with it still being really, really cold, and we're going to be fishing 20 degrees, it seems like, or 30 or 40 degrees down there in Texas, which is stupid. But anyways, um, so we're just going to wait and finish up some of these side pieces here where this stuff, deck mat, is going to go over all these screws. That's kind of my main thing with this one is it's going to go right over these four screws here. So I don't know yet what we're going to do on that. Um, there's a few other odd and end pieces. It also comes with, here's the whole bag here. It also comes with like some extra mats for your pedal drive system, your 360 drive. Um, we haven't put them on yet. No, we might. I'm not sure yet. But this is basically what we got. I mean, looks good, looks clean. Uh, I'm really impressed with this, this setup here. I'm excited about getting in this and fishing it. Uh, for the 2022 season all right guys well i hope you liked that i try to just kind of touch base with it it's not super hard it, it don't need a like an in-depth instructional video i just wanted to kind of hit some of the key points with it so um but if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button um if you've been watching our videos please hit the thumbs up share these videos with everyone um also if you're interested in getting a deck mat kit like this there's a few companies out there that do it but uh, I want to thank Dugout Bates, uh, Jamie and Josh Little and all of them down there for helping us set this up. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, also, you can go check them out for a lot of your Hobie needs if you're in the Atlanta area or like us, we travel a long ways to get in there just to pick up our Hobie 360. So Jamie and them down there at Dugout, great bunch of people, uh, awesome to work with. So get if you get time um, and you're in the market for a Hobie, make sure you go check them out. So. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I say, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and we'll talk to you later, guys. See you.